Chloe, did you pick out the music today? That was, <laughs> that was very nice. patriotic, yeah, I'm, huh? I'm feeling it. Well, preps are underway for Rancho Cordova's 4th of July fireworks show. The celebration will be filled with two nights of family-friendly fun. And our Monica Coleman live from Rancho Cordova's Hagen Park with a behind-the-scenes look at all the fun. Monica, this is a big event. A lot of people go to this one. Hey, well, yeah, it's a huge event for Rancho Cordova and all of Northern California. They say it's the best fireworks show in Northern California, and we are going to give you a behind the scenes look at what to expect today and tomorrow. And waking up bright and early with us is the mayor of Rancho Cordova, David Sander. David, tell us, why is this going to be the best fireworks show? Well, we've got the biggest show and we have the most choreographed show. So between those two things, this is the best show. And not only that, we're on the third and the force. So there are two nights of fireworks here in Rancho Cordova. Okay, two nights, that's a lot of fun. But it's not just about the fireworks I see behind us. There's a lot more fun activities. Explain. There is a carnival going on here that is always a, a crowd pleaser. We also have a huge number of food trucks. I think the number is 50 this year. So you can come here and satisfy almost any culinary desire you may have. And on top of that, we have two nights of concerts happening and a circus just on the other side. Circus, music, fun food, but also there's some history here. 39 years of putting on this event. Talk to me about what that means to you as the mayor, but also the city of Rancho Cordova. You know, Rancho Cordova has always been a very patriotic place. We've also been a place with really strong community bonds inside of our community. And so this event is not just about celebrating Independence Day, which is important to us. It's also about our community coming together to pull off something that we can all enjoy and the region even benefits from it. Okay, so if people want to come out and celebrate, help us navigate how to get here. How much for parking? How much to get in? Well, it's at Hagen Park on the American River. That isn't that isn't hard to uh, find. Uh, it's ten dollars to park, five dollars to get in. Kids under five are free. Oh, okay, we like free and we like five dollars. Not too bad. Okay, anything else people need to know who've never been out before and think, hey, maybe I'll try it out. Don't bring your dog. Mm -hmm. Don't bring your own fireworks but you can bring enough uh, liquid to keep yourself hydrated while you're here. But we also have, we've tripled the number of water we normally have available because of the heat this year. And we also have beer garden available, a ton of vendors, a lot of shade. So this is gonna be a really comfortable experience for people. And those were really important don'ts to mention. Thank you for doing that. But also when, what time will the fireworks go off? Will it be as soon as the sun sets or do you have to come to find out? You kind of have to come to find out because there's a little variability, but it's definitely after sunset. Okay, so you, okay, last question. They're telling me we got a wrap. What time can people start arriving? 4 p.m. 4 okay. p.m. today or 4 p.m. tomorrow. But there is also a parade tomorrow in Rancho Cordova if you want to celebrate that way. 10 a.m. along Coloma Road, largest parade in the region. Oh, man, largest parade, best fireworks show. They got it all here in Rancho Cordova. Okay, you heard them. $5 to get in, $10 to park. That's a cheap date. If you need something to do for the 4th of July, come on out to Rancho Cordova. There's a lot of fun for everybody in the family. Live in Rancho Cordova, Monica Coleman, ABC 10. All right, Monica, good job getting the mayor out there. And he also dropped in the beer garden is available. So <clears throat> that pretty much completed all the information that many people were waiting to hear on. All right, Monica Coleman at uh, Hagen Park. Thank you. A lot of, what a setup out there. Yeah, Amazing.